so now it's finished I'm gonna close this one and it's charging again but we don't want this problem so just shut it down and now if you go to yeah but whatever now it's finished now you can choose install Ubuntu here yep and it will start up the installation it will take some more time because it's in a virtual environment but eventually yeah here I'm going to choose uh, Swedish and but you can choose English or Somi or whatever you want uh, then just press next or continue and here it's uh, mark both of these two and uh, continue and it's load for some time apparently and uh, what will take some time is uh, to install Ubuntu on your USB stick that will take the most time is because it's going to be faster if your uh, USB stick or it depends on the writing speed on your computer so on this one you choose the other alternative and uh, continue and now it's going to show uh, show you how all the all the available uh, places to install and you'll choose this one here right here uh, the one that we formatted that is uh, here it is yeah it has some memory just one sec I will be I will check something yeah but uh, so now device for bootloader to install you need to change this also to Kingston data traveler and you ch choose uh, the second alternative here SDB2 because that's the same as this one here as you can see so I've chosen that one and uh, if you uh, let's check uh, and here yeah you're going to change some things here too uh, here you're going to choose uh, journal file system ext4 and uh, format partition and mounting uh, and here we're going to choose just the first one with just one uh, yeah as you can see I've chosen so check to have this one it's uh, you can just take the ext4 format the drive and mount mounting directory and just okay and it's going to load for some time and then now it's finished and you can choose install now it should work and uh, and this one it's telling you something but just choose uh, continue and now it's identifying or now you can make create your setups here just continue and as you can see at the bottom it's uh, creating the system files and just now you can, can you take uh, here continue and uh, it's yes and uh, yeah and I'm not going to sh show you this but now just enter everything and wait for the installation to be finished so now you can see my installation have come like a Thor or something but yeah I'm just gonna say that you you can download any other uh, Ubuntu or just la a Linux distro that you want like uh, Debian or anything else because 
they will work the same way in when you install it. I'm not certain that the others are like Debian have G parted as a default program, but yeah, it's yeah that what I'm not certain of. But it's you can download and install the Dreambox. That's an yeah, you could call it a, like a producer's operation system. Is that has uh, yeah, it has a GIMP uh, pre-installed. It has uh, programs for uh, picture, sound, and video editing pre-installed, and all the programs are free, and they are. You can compare them with like uh, Photoshop, not Photoshop, but uh, Sony Vegas uh, or uh, yeah, some other programs. I've, I haven't actually tested one, but I've read about it and I saw that it come with pre... Uh, uh, with drum with drums uh, drum program where you can make like drum sounds or play drums and piano and some other instruments uh, yeah I'm trying to kill some time meanwhile this is installing uh, it's important that you do not uh, eject your USB stick because that's quite obvious because uh, then uh, there will be no place to install the program install the operation system uh, yeah but Ubuntu comes with a bunch of uh, nice programs like uh, Ubuntu software center where you can download and LibreOffice uh, this is like Word, this is like uh, Excel, and this is like PowerPoint. And uh, here, this program works as the same as Dropbox. It's you can, it's creating a folder where you can uh, put files, and it's going to sync the files to the internet. Internet, no, and ship. Uh, obviously, this two minus this one, yeah. I won! I'm fucking best. Live session user is was so now the installation is done and and I'm just gonna press continue testing. It's gonna load for some time and then I'm just gonna shut down the virtual box shut down and shut down and Okay, so now I'm going to reboot my computer and choose to boot from, uh, sorry for the quality of the video, to boot from uh, a USB device or, and here, the second alternative, that's my USB device, so now start and let's see if this works. Seems like it's working. The boot is uh, can take some time. And yeah, loading. Let's see if it works. Yes, booting into Ubuntu. You can see Ubuntu. Yes, this is nice. So now it's booting up. This is what I talked about that it may take some more time than if you would boot from a hard drive.
and this is because of uh, the fact that uh, your it needs to write from the USB stick. It needs to re read from the USB stick. But now it's booting up here. Let's see. Yeah, nice, and everything is nice, and 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 you can go here. Is my files? That's the what I was talking about. That was like 500 megabytes, and uh, yeah, that it and uh, yeah here it is and you can sh say files and so what I should um, say is that you should um, if there is any down upgrades to the system you should uh, install those because uh, yeah it's smart because then you'll get the uh, latest updates on everything but yeah so here's my files and here is the other one you can check that and you'll see that it is about loading here it is about here is uh, freeze memory and it's 3.8 gigabytes free memory and uh, you want to take seems like you want to take about uh, 2.3 gigabytes and yeah that's it and here is the <coughs> is here is the updating manager so yeah that's all and so thanks for uh, watching this video and see you again with uh, another one